Hey guys, Scorp here. Uh, just wanted to run by you guys uh, my new M203 system slash setup I got for my SEMA. Um, so I read online, I was doing a lot of research, and I really liked the idea of running these Tagin projectile 40 millimeter rounds. Um, if you're not familiar with Tagin, they're uh, this Russian company that produces this really cool projectile system for um, M203 grenade launchers. They do have their own launcher system. It runs for like 750 bucks right now, which is a little much for me for a hobby. Um, so I went and purchased on evic.com a Matrix Tactical Systems um, M203 grenade launcher. This happens to be the short version. Um, so the short version accepts the length of this tube, which is what's required to shoot and fire these projectiles. If you notice, these tubes are actually rifled um, and they're specially made to work with these projectiles. Otherwise, they will not work with your grenade launcher. Um, unfortunately, out the box, these matrix launchers uh, do not fit properly these tubes and I'll show you why. So. I'm going to commit a cardinal rule here and point a weapon at my face. But if you look down in here, let me see if I can grab a light. If you look down in there, you'll notice somewhere if I can show you my camera. So if you see those ribs on the inside of the tube, those ribs turn the inside diameter of the tube just a tad bit too small to fit this tube inside of it. So what I did was I actually took apart this grenade launcher and I <clears throat> disassembled it and took the inner tube out and I turned down the inside of the tube. Now I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this or not. It's a little difficult. But If you look inside of here, I turned down the inside of the tube and you can see the shininess inside there. Um, about a half inch past the internal length of this cartridge. So that gives me just enough clearance to plop this guy in there and allow it to lock in place on the internal springs. So now when I place this guy in there, he fits just right. If you notice, I have to push the tube all the way forward because there's some issues with these with trying to get them in and they're a little bit tight. Um, a buddy of mine had purchased uh, a very similar grenade launcher, but it was the mini version. And because of that, the slide didn't go all the way forward and he could not fit this tube inside. So, food for thought, don't get a mini if you're going to be running with tag-in launchers. So, anywho, now the tube fits in just right, perfectly so, slide it back. Locks in, you're ready to rock and roll. Not just yet. So another thing that I found is that the firing pin on this guy, you can see it right here, this firing pin does not extend out far enough to detonate the tube, uh, the tagging tube, I apologize. So what happens is in here, this is gonna depress down probably about five to six millimeters. And when it does that, it releases a valve and that, you know, releases the pressure within the canister and then that's what shoots out your projectile. Because this pin does not extend out far enough, it leaves you in a pretty dangerous situation because this canister is now halfway depressed and is kind of teetering on the line of going off or not. And uh, I made the mistake of taking this out when that happened and I had put it on the ground and it detonated while I was outside of my tube, which created a, a very uh, hazardous situation. Um, ended up taking one of these dummy rounds and shooting them across the freaking neighborhood. So, learn from my mistake and go back and take a look at this and either <clears throat> A, take out the pin and machine a new one and replace it with the longer pin. Um, I made a temporary fix that I'm eventually gonna replace with a machine pin. I had a tiny magnet that I had in the house um, I ended up super gluing the magnet onto the head of the pin, which gave it that much more stroke. And doing that actually did the trick. So that's a very short term solution because over time the magnet's going to degrade and then you're going to run, you know, run into an issue of the firing pin not working again. So 
don't recommend that long term, but in a bind, it could help. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. I'm mainly doing that because I have a game tomorrow and I don't have enough time to machine a new pin. So, otherwise, uh, if you want a grenade launcher that works out of the box to run tag in, um, I suggest the brand G and G. They're about the same cost, maybe a hundred, hundred ten dollars for the system. This ended up being eighty dollars. Um, that system, I believe, works straight out of the box. But if you previously owned a Matrix launcher and you want to try and make it work with these tagging rounds, those are the two big things you're going to have to do. A, machine the inside of your tube so that it accepts the OD of this tagging launcher. And then B, replace the pin so that it extends out farther and detonates your launcher properly. So hang tight. I'm going to have some uh, footage here tomorrow after our game, and uh, hopefully you'll get to see this thing in action. All right. Thanks, guys. Signing off.